one year. We wanted to give a one year review about this RV. <laughs> been uh, one year two months ago uh, so it's 14 months now we have owned this particular RV right before this we had the mini max and it was fine but I couldn't stand up it's thing about it this has been a bizarre year all of us have gone through a lot of different stuff it's just been bizarre a lot well, of RVers are hitting the road right now of too COVID because of and COVID to get away exactly to be on your own it's it literally is the only thing you can do where you're not really putting yourself at some kind of risk yeah, about on some, being yeah. around a whole lot of people. And and that brings up the point that we use this RV a lot. And we went at least four times to the Grand Canyon, twice to White Horse Mountain. This year. Way more than in the thirty previously. day, in the twenty eight day, whatever trip on the road, we used it a lot and we learned a lot about number one, R V number two about what pertains to this particular rv and hopefully there will be some helpful hints for people that might be in the same situation as we are we learned how to work remotely it was a challenge we have two dogs that weigh 65 to 200 pounds 65 pounds more than likely but they're great dogs they have a lot of hair they shed terribly bad yeah. two grown dogs two grown people in this size of an RV and we're going to share with you our pluses and our minuses. Let's start off with things that we really think Intech got right with the Soul Horizon. Uh, in my opinion, the way they did the finishes on the interior don't look like your typical RV. Agreed. The smooth, whatever that gel coat is over the bathroom, the inside of the bathroom yeah. all the finishes i think are very well done the color coordination has been very good Agreed. the the layout for the size of the trailer it is Amazing. is very good it I mean, is it, it's it really, really good yeah i mean the width of it there's plenty of room for two grown adults to move back and forth i mean even with the dogs there yeah. was plenty of room there was room um i i really really do like the size um, if you're looking for something small, easy to carry up, easy to tow, yeah. right? Um, it, it's the perfect size for yeah. two people. And so, in that, in saying that, the way that the stove was laid out, the big farmhouse sink for such a small trailer, <laughs> the sink is very, very nice. Come, and we've seen much bigger trailers that don't have near the size of well, the sink and, and the, 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 the faucet. The, yeah, it's is, a residential faucet. It's a residential what else do you think they got right about this? So for a wet bath, this bathroom is amazing. For such a small trailer? And, and I had to learn how to use a wet bath because <laughs> I have never even she heard. She didn't know what a wet bath was. I didn't even know what a wet bath was. And when I first used it, I used it very incorrectly. I was the wrong way. I couldn't figure out where to put my legs. Spraying water on us in shave. here. <laughs> no. But there is so much room in that bathroom. Um, you know, even the, without the sink, it still gives you like the the width to be able to move around in. There's plenty of room to have your hands up and showering your dancing. Your head. Singing. There's some dancing and some singing in there. And I'm six foot two, yeah. and I actually fit in there up to the point where my wife put a cedar thing on the floor. <gasps> teak. It's a teak Whatever. shower floor. It's yeah, amazing. I still I fit. Love it. I still fit, but in the air vent. Okay, but, be... and, and here's the thing. So we've looked at other RVs as well, right? And usually tall people, men, usually have to go up into the mm. sun, the sun roof or whatever that is, right? Yeah. So in our bathroom it, there's no sunroof that you can actually put your, it is literally tall enough for a six two six three probably bigger six three if, I, if i've been laying down all day and i'm not compressed <laughs> um anyway uh but yeah i mean there's there is so much room in the bathroom Agreed. i'm super impressed with the bathroom. i do like the i, I like the bathroom yeah and for and a wet wall, bath, it's amazing it, you see those contoured walls in a lot of other RVs that have the fake stamp slate or whatever with all that. You know what? This one is smooth, smooth. and flat. It's you take a squeegee yeah. and it's almost dry to that point. So I, I like that aspect of it. But I but I have to say that with the teak flooring, and I'm glad you brought that up because I love the teak floor. 
but it does pick you up out of the water, yeah. which I think is very important. And I, it's more important to me to keep my feet out of the dirty water, honestly, than it is to have to stand up ac but absolutely you, straight. But you stand up straight. I, I can, but I'm, I'm limited to the little space for the vent. But that's okay. No. What about, yeah. No, because there's a thing. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a, please. There's a screen oh, over the vent. Yeah, you can't and when put the vent is going, my screen. what little hair I've got left gets sucked <laughs> out of that thing and cuts it even further. So that well, is Well, there's that. a little pine cone needle in there, too. There is that. that. The window, what do you think about the window at the front of this? Okay, I love the window. I love, love the view. And this was something that I was sharing with the Intech group on Facebook, which, amazing, everyone on there is just wonderful and so friendly. But um, we were talking about the placement of the big window, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are some RV places that you can camp at where it's in the perfect place, such as Devil's Tower, big right? Time. We were backed in Devil's Tower, right there it was amazing but a lot of times those camp spots we're in the opposite direction Rawlings <laughs> Rawlings Rawlings yes um, but uh, when you're boondocking make your window anywhere right, right. Which so we it did. doesn't matter which we did. doesn't matter which end it's on so boondocking we know that um, the window comes in handy regardless of which way which direction you're going when you're when you're at a camp spot, yeah. it does um, sometimes. You're pretty much looking at other RVers. Make, we hardly ever take the cover completely off. We just flap it down. Yeah. Uh, it, and we've seen other people with the Horizons do the same thing. Well, I think they copied us. Mark, are you listening to me? Oh my god! No, I'm just kidding, buddy. I think <laughs> that you know it's a smart thing to do because it actually flops down, covers the tanks, covers up our covers laundry. Covers the laundry, the tanks, and nobody's messing with stuff. So that's well, a, and that's the weather a, and animals, yeah. right? Animals, There's animals, raccoons. raccoons. Okay. I, because of the big window, yep. I do. I like the for the size again, the size of the trailer. I like the way they laid. You know, I've seen. I've seen like in the Lance, for instance, has the table go this way, yes. that way, that way. The, and we're not real fond of this post. Number well, one. Yeah, number it, two, when you're working and I'm typing, all of a sudden we're <laughs> typing like hussy wazzy all over. Oh, and you can't use a mouse if somebody's typing no, and you try to it, use a this, mouse. And I've tried, so, I've tried everything I know to get this. Honestly, can't figure out where it's wobbling where, from. It's I haven't gotta taken be the underneath, time to do it. It's got to be underneath the, the table itself. I think it's underneath the front of the tongue of the jack in the front. Maybe the truck has something to do. I don't know, but I'm certain that's I, it. I'm not. The this is just too wobbly. But the design of it and the fact that you can yeah you can lay it out like this, which, which you know gives is kind a of contour. Yeah, your body room has a lot more room right here. Yep. And 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 again, the turning so you can get in and out. I do like the turning. I, I think that's too. brilliant. I, I, think, I think that was brilliant. You want your co you want your coffee or my coffee? Which one do you want? I, I poisoned yours, mine. so. Oh my God! Please don't cute. poison me. <laughs> the this is this is comfortable. We have sat here so much all day long working we've, in we've this position. This. And with the dogs up here with us half the time, <laughs> right? Yeah. There's so much room. We've had friends over yeah. and had, had dinner, dinner in here for reasonably large people and not I say, large tall no, i mean large as in you know full-grown adults right tall. i mean we rick's, have, rick's tall too we I have mean. fit in here so let's talk about the carriage <laughs> what well you're Is trying it? to talk over me again Anyway, let's talk about the kitchen area. The kitchen is um, super easy access. The stove itself is fabulous. Um, we did have that little screw that kept coming out, coming out, coming out. Every, every time we drove, I know. the I, top screw would come out. Yeah, I put the Gorilla Glue in there. Oh, and so well, Gorilla Glue is... Kitchen, kitchen. Oh, That's sorry. why I was letting you talk. <laughs> but the Gorilla Glue... Oh my God, so you, you have buy to a bottle, have You buy a bottle of Gorilla, gorilla glue, glue and then you buy your glue. RV. One thing that we did remove is that glass partition. We did. Irrelevant. There's it's, nothing. It's designer friendly. It doesn't do anything. Not really. To help the situation. What um, else about the kitchen? I like the roll, the, the little griddle that rolls across there that makes space. Yes. So they include the sink cover. Yeah. That's a, like a metal cover. Stainless steel. Um, thing. Okay. So one thing about that, the little cover that I found out pretty quickly is those little steel bars, they come out of the plastic. Yeah. And if one comes out, they all come out. And then you sit there and try to put them back it's together. It's a game of Jenga to put it that thing back together. It is a game of Jenga. It is. 
the sink underneath the sink there is a storage area that is huge it's big uh, i personally have not put the shelves in yet we keep but, our car in there but we're not using it <laughs> but we keep a lot of stuff in there and i think that if you put an organizer or some shelves down there and that i know a little piece of big slate thing you got is actually have, it's we a, have that's a, a plastic good, piece of, a good barrier. of sample fake slate because i was thinking sample. about putting it on the backsplash but we haven't done that anyway it, it does hold as kind of a um, a little barrier. A, yeah, a barrier for all the crap that I have in there. There are some great shelves underneath the, the actual stove area. They're pretty deep. They hold a lot of stuff. Drawers, you mean, not shelves? Did I say shelves? You said drawers. It, it, they are drawers. You said shelves. It's drawers. Make up your mind. Make up my mind. Okay. Drawers. Yeah, there are. There are some great drawers. However, there's only three. And then one small one for like silverware and stuff Can like I, that uh, one complaint okay you put down like a rug on the floor and the dogs like to lay on the rug you cannot open the bottom drawer with you, the rug there you can't open the um the Cover doors, doors either. The sink it's, either it's so there's finely it, very small distance yeah so if you plan you on know? putting con any kind of rug down on the floor and you want to try and open the doors for the cabinet you or the drawer you can in order to open the drawers yeah the drawers, drawers or the drawers. not the shelves. Oh Here's the next thing. Try to open the window. Uh, okay. In tech, I love my Soul Horizon, but these windows are awful. I mean, awful. <laughs> so you cannot open. These are, these are typical RV windows. Yeah, and, and, granted, they are. But you have to use both hands and open. And then and, you have to find the little slot that they go into. And you have to make sure that they're both in the same. Oh, but then to close, you have to again Two use both hands, hands yep. and to get them down. And they don't go down that easy. This is just because I'm doing this one window. Okay, so if and when it's not with it's not if it's when you break one of the strings on the the window it is a whole thing it's um it's almost impossible to do my husband did it on two of our we, windows we it took both of us it wasn't just one person it, it was, was a two-person job so difficult but we did we did, the, we did the back window we had to bed. youtube it like we didn't even know it, it's it. so hard and then one of the windows had four strings not just two well but we did the window over the, the sink and then we yeah. did the window so what the problem in the soul horizon in particular yeah. And we'll go over the bed here in a minute, but the way we have our bed, it's right up to the bottom of the window. And that one broke because we kind of leaned against it. Okay, I understand that. But then but the there's one... nowhere else to lean. I know, like I know. You, when you sit up in I the know, bed, you have to lean against the window. Ow! There you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so the from, back window, from bed. You have to be in the bed. And then. There, there's that window. And then you have to lay down and get both hands and open the window. And then it's crooked. Oh no, it's ready. It's yeah. good. Watch your head, honey. I know. Okay. And then now put everything back down and then we'll have to show where our pillows go. Okay, but you have to lay down again. We put a memory, three inch memory foam underneath the factory provided mattress that came with the Soul Horizon. We did this because we tried the memory foam on top first, okay. and I got such a backache from laying on that. It was terrible. I get out of the bed. Yeah. You kind of have to, like, swing your legs over here. And then pull up on the side of the thing. If there was, like, a little handle. It's worse, though. Look. If you're over so here. So, put a couple of pillows over me. Here's here's my husband. He's a short guy. He's a, he's a really short guy. So, I'm over here sleeping in my corner. We're gonna talk about this window later. Um, in my corner, and I gotta pee in the middle of the night. All right, so I have to adjust this, hit the iPad holder, get over him, <laughs> and then somehow get over, and it's easier with the pillow. We find the bed to be our biggest challenge, and that's something we're going to go through here in a yeah. minute on what we think some improvements could be. So that's the bedding situation. Whew, that was long. My thing is this. 
having the bed the way it is, it's very narrow to try and even get out of bed. In the middle of the night, if, if she has to go to the restroom, it's, she's on the outside by the window, and you don't like that because? So, let, it, it's not narrow. We have plenty of space hmm. width-wise. I'm talking about the narrow escape. To get out. The escape area. To get out. Right, yes. right. That's narrow. Agreed. So, and this was something that I brought up to uh, one of the people that we met in one of the RV camps. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, do you have a problem getting over the other person? And she would said the same thing. That, yeah, it's tough. Like, you don't you don't get up in the middle of the night to, to pee or do whatever. You, you have a pee bottle. You stay there yeah. until morning. Um, because trying to get over the other person is almost impossible to do it without, is. you know, waking up the entire campground. So you, it's a challenge. It My is a suggestion challenge. is this: if Intec were to keep making this model of this design, put a handle I on agree. this corner right here. I agree. That would make a huge difference. A microwave. Yeah, hardly. I don't hardly. We use it to store bread. We in. do. That should be one little pantry area yeah. coming out as far as the so, refrigerator. No, but we didn't out. know. We didn't know no, at the time. We no. thought microwave. Ooh, Woo! Microwave. Yay! But if that microwave panel came out to be flush with the rest of that counter yeah. right there, if so if and you it was have a storage, option, it would be a pantry. But if you have the option for the microwave, don't delete take, it. I would. I would change that in a heartbeat on anything. We chose next. Right. Right. It, the storage is way more. I important. would rather have that come out and a refrigerator to be oh. bigger because the refrigerator in this so the it works great. It, it does, does work really good on propane it on is electric. So small though. It is very tiny. It's very very small. Right. And, and it, we've had our issues with the refrigerator. I think that it could be a bigger refrigerator. <laughs> move all the. How, how packed is the refrigerator when we leave? But you can't even open it. We've had food we've had every time. Out. Here's the thing. Our dog. <laughs> dish is right underneath the refrigerator oh, and every time we open the, the door yep. food falls in the dog dish if the food is not hermetically sealed by some nuclear scientist it's we'd done. have to throw it away because yeah, we're done. we're germaphobes one of the design aspects i love about the soul is the way they incorporated the propane tanks at least underneath here it's covered most of the rv units you see have it sitting outside and here in arizona that thing would just did just disintegrate in a matter of three years. It's so, a different. It, it's a different right. um, climate than any other Anywhere. place. Anywhere. So this one, the 2019, came with just a single tank. We put a dual tank mon or a dual tank system on ours, but now the ones that come from the factory have a tri tank, like a million of them, and they, you know it's all included. We had this is our third axle on our and not However, by not by once not ever once did we call and complain it was dexter that reached out to us and said hey these axles are being replaced it's time you guys need to get yours done great customer service Un unbelievable. unbelievable dexter thank you so much yes. we put a two and a half inch lift on ours originally just because we boondock so much but then when the final third axle came we ended up finding we got another one inch lift out of this so we have a three and a half inch lift on our trailer which is awesome for boondocking but we did replace the factory tires which were originally some china brand that we didn't trust too much these are the goodyear endurance 10 ply tires and they are designed specifically for off-roading not off-roading so much but they're very very durable and the new soul horizon they do have the endurance yeah. but we went we have been down some serious off-roading trails with this trailer and these tires we're very confident we're going to get there and we're going to get back my favorite favorite thing about the soul horizon was when we bought it this the outdoor grill area Ooh, look, magnetic latch. You see them on YouTube doing that all the time. <laughs> this, honestly, I have used to the point of carbon. I love this grill. I have used this grill so much. I have made pizza on here. I've made breakfast burritos, dinner, lunch, fried bologna sandwiches. I've made everything. I love the grill. 
this is a little i think it's a blackstone it's an elite series griddle this whole thing to me is phenomenal it's amazing this is my this was a selling point for me on this rv and boom there you go dinner's over i don't like it so would you recommend i would get the, the, yeah, the dometic the dometic yeah. beer cooler I i'd would. get that i'd get that instead I would as well. so now the one thing i do want to say the step on this rv is is okay just to kind of get out of the trailer we ended up having to get a little platform which i've got yeah. video of that to get out of here i've fallen i don't know three times out of this thing and the handle does not extend too far some of the handles you see that come out to here might be a better option for you on this rv we're probably going to replace this just because the plastic has gotten so uv faded it's just disgusting at this point i don't like it we take this we flop this down leave the bottom ones connected and this was our installation not souls i know souls are coming with that now and so we had to put our own slinky on here holder and now I, apparently with the newer horizons of 2021 they have the whole thing set up good for you you don't have to deal with that but that's that's in tech and that is soul horizon and that's that's yeah, them customer. that's them learning exactly yeah. still not a fan of the gray black mixed tank i i there's if there was a way if in the future as they go forward to make a gray and a black so you can clean one with the other yay um, also it probably really does need a black tank clean out so i have my wife now take a three gallon bucket dump it i watch it three gallon bucket dump it that's it does that's the only way we can rinse the tanks is by taking a we bucket of water about the sensors no every 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 rv's got that same sensor issue but my wife has to take and just keep dumping water until i go okay clear and then we're gone and we're good never leave your tank empty always put some water and one of the little things of the of the bacteria yes put one of the the detergent things in your tank don't leave it empty you will find it, it will stink bad leave some water let it do it let it do its job everything else the vents everything else out here besides look at our pinstriping we have what's called this in arizona is called desert pinstriping <laughs> and this is from going through trees in the desert when you're boondocking yeah. and desert pinstriping that it, is a, it's that expensive is, but it's very expensive and it's a huge um trophy trophy yeah it's, it's a definite trophy it is. we have desert pinstriping and this honestly will buff out but it's, no it's, problem but it, we want it there i have it with pride i've got desert <laughs> pinstriping with pride we do. this little slap on here for the electric thing i had to do some kind of i did all kinds of stuff to make it stay closed we did. i love having the solar plug on the outside for a panel yes. i've got two panels on top with a lithium battery but the fact of the matter is if we're in the shade which you want to be in the shade most of the time you have this plug-in right here you just you just take your panels out stick them in the sun I, I like that let's talk about the tv for one sec oh, let's let's talk about the tv we've plugged in cable tv to this outlet on this 2019 i don't know if they've changed them or not but the way the electronics work in this they will not accept a digital feed they'll only accept an analog feed this cable outlet is analog goes to the tv and does not work what you end up having to do is take the digital output from the campground or rv place plug it into the back of the tv that's the only way the tv can register the digital signal so there's something intech has done here that filters out the digital signal and creates an analog feed does not work trust us on this we did this in rawlings this let me explain this bring that over here okay. Okay. this is your city water city water going in to fill up your tank this is what you do to fill up your rv tank this right here is your city water coming in pressurized problem is if you have fingers if you don't have fingers you're fine but if you have fingers you go ahead and try and tighten that enough to stop it that from leaking does not work. i've had to plier grip this thing i don't know how many times and you see how chewed up it is 
but this is too small. Honestly, this should have been, it's, this is left-handed. If I was left-handed, this would be great. But I'm right-handed, which 90% of Americans are, you cannot get it hard enough on here to work out. So And there's no magnetic No, there's hole nothing on there. There's there no, right and, there. and that little thing is kind of chintzy there's on there. Yeah. Storage down here. Honestly, if this was a pull-out tray, I would be happy. It's not, I can't even fit back to the back of this thing. I have to get some, I don't know, leprechaun to go back in the back and find all the stuff that's in the back yeah, of my... Racist to leprechaun. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, we should not say that. It's a little small. It, if, it, 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 if it had a pullout, I, I would tiny. be happy. It's hard for me to get back there. It's hard for me to get two feet in here. Yeah. But it is what it is. It's a small trailer. It's we know. Good, it's a good storage for a 19 foot. Again, it is. Yeah. And you don't want to show our license plate. Come this way. The outside hose thing, the, the quick release on this thing is pretty cheap. It could be a little bit easier and better. It, What's that for? Like what? It's the hose. It's the water hose to water. rinse stuff off. The shower? No, it's not a shower. We don't have an outside shower. We've got we out. Have an outside we have outside water oh. that works from this. But this can be, you know, if you're if you don't have really strong hands, this can be tough to do, and it honestly is to connect oh, that, to connect this, yeah, that. to connect oh, this hose to that. It. It's a little it's a little tough to do. Okay. It works, but it's not. It could be right. better. Right. The awning, we talked about that. We love the awning. We, we do, like the awning, but, we do, but it, it cut it short. stopped it stopped right it's where where are you going to be standing when you're outside by the grill? Right here. Right the grill. Yep. And the awning comes out right here. There you go. <laughs> We're back in Arizona. And what is it? Two weeks, two weeks after our trip, and we're out boondocking, and we'll post this, and that'll be the end of our season for the most part. Yeah.